likes to drink soda for breakfast, lunch, dinner. He drinks energy drinks at work. I mean, yeah. it's always sugar, so you sugar, drink sugar. An energy drink and then so. you sit. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So let's talk about this because you should not feel bad that you're addicted to sugar. And I'm going to show you why. This is your brain. This <laughs> is your brain on sugar. <laughs> but what you're seeing here, for anyone watching, is th this is your pleasure center, OK? When you eat that sugar, your brain is flooded with dopamine, represented by these blue dots here. What does that do? That makes you feel good temporarily. And that's the problem. Temporarily, you feel good. And you need more and more sugar just to survive. You might be shocked to learn that every time you're eating a high sugar meal, what's happening is like this gentleman here, your bloodstream is flooded with glucose. And what do tumor cells need to grow? Glucose. They need energy. Yeah. So tumor cells love all that sugar. So potentially tumors can grow quicker with too much sugar. What else grows? Your concentration of cholesterol, bad cholesterol, LDL, that gums up your arteries. That is what leads to heart disease. So it's sort of a strange thought that eating too much sugar can cause the buildup of fat in our arteries. But it does. And that's why you need to replace this sugar habit, this sugar addiction, with better habits. First thing I'm going to recommend to help break this sugar addiction is switch to something that's sweet that's actually good for you. It's going to be difficult, but the first time when, we, when you leave the show, instead of reaching for a soda, always carry a piece of fruit with you. Because what fruit has still has that sweetness, but it's loaded with fiber and nutrients. And speaking from somebody who has really been trying to do this and struggle, you know, the fruit really does change your taste buds, and so you, you stop wanting, like, the, the real sort of the sugars, like in the sodas so much. But also, you can mix some of the things you crave with healthy things, and, you know, you don't have to go completely cold turkey. You can wean yourself down slowly. Because sometimes if you go completely cold turkey, you just yeah. want it even yeah, more. Yeah, crave it even more. Yeah. yeah. And with, I, par with parents, sometimes if their kids are drinking too much juice, I'll suggest just start diluting it just a little bit so the kids don't really notice. And then after a couple of weeks, they're drinking much more water than juice. Cravings, oh, yeah. you, you have to mention artificial sweeteners mm -hmm. because we now know that you take an artificial sweetener, you, you have the sensation of sweetness, but you're not getting the sugar. So the body associates the sweetness and the sugar and then wants more sugar. So it's sort of a vicious cycle. Think you're doing yourself good with an artificial sweetener where, in fact, it's gonna, you're going to consume more sugar. So is there an app for that, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, there is an app for that, Travis. It's called, uh, it's by Spark People. It's the Diet and Food Tracker. Let me just pull it up here. It basically tells you what I've, what I've had to eat all for lunch, breakfast, dinner, snacks, and it tracks my calories, and, and at the end you, of the day. I saw you doing it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you, f you I was, finished your yeah. meal and said, oh, I got to put a little pasta in. salad. And Good stuff. So, so these apps, and there are a ton of apps out there, they can help instigators start you on a new fitness program.